Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Outdoor Home Live Cooking Show Fall Feast Edition. So we're now one week away uh, from this airing from Thanksgiving. So we're doing all these recipes that tie to the Thanksgiving dinner. We did the turkey last week, we've showed you turkey breast, uh, homemade butter rolls, the sweet potatoes, you name it. So in this case we're actually doing a made from scratch stuffing recipe that is one of my favorites. Growing up I didn't like, you know, you can only fit so much on a plate at Thanksgiving and stuffing is one of the things I would leave off and in this recipe uh, it's just totally different from anything I've ever had and I love it and I got to give credit to my mother-in-law for uh, living, uh, giving us the recipe and letting us do this video so it was her recipe and it's just awesome so we'll get started here what I've got we're gonna cook in the enamel Dutch oven big green egg enamel Dutch oven the big oval one today real cool feature with that is you've got the Dutch oven the bottom part that we're gonna that we're eventually gonna bake this uh, but the lid is also a cooking device so what we're gonna start with is we've got some extra sage sausage here. I don't wanna miss any of that. break this up a little bit we've got our egg at about 400 degrees just direct right over the starting out that way and then we're going to turn it into an oven and bake it for the finished product but we're just going to get started on the sausage here it smells good already and we'll just take a look at the ingredients I've got uh, that are ready to go for this this recipe Got two sticks of butter that we'll get to. We've got fresh uh, rosemary and thyme. I've got, sage. oh sorry, fresh sage and thyme. We've got so many herbs going on for a meal like this, you forget. Diced onions, celery, and then water chestnuts. This one I think blows people away when they try it. It gives that crunchiness to it. Uh, we've got our chicken stock that's gonna go in. And then this process here. So we have cornbread, we have white bread, we have pumpernickel. You can, uh, the best way to do this is you just, you just cube it up like so, and it takes about three to four days. Just leave it out on the counter. It's really hard to stay out of it because it's delicious. So I always grab a little snack, so maybe have some extras. So that's been sitting out for about four days and you've basically got croutons. So good. <laughs> we did bake the corn cornbread on the egg, of course. Bought the, the bread. Cube that up. If you don't plan ahead of time. The other option you have is you could always throw this in the egg and you can dry it out that way and just basically toast it. Keep an eye on our sausage here. Okay, so our extra sage sausage is now finished. So we're going to remove this for the time being. started on the rest of the ingredients. So I'm going to put in two sticks of butter. Let that melt. And we're going to add our diced onions. And our celery. Throw 
piece of sausage there. Okay, you can see the onions and celery. That's looking really good. We'll let that go for just another minute. I'm gonna go ahead and add the sausage that we cooked. I put all those, the bread. Again, we had white bread, cornbread, and pumpernickel. Don't you leave, leave that on the can, let it dry out, cube it and then leave it out to dry for at least three days. They get good and crunchy like croutons. You can toast them if you, if you forget to do that ahead of time. Okay, so onions and celery are looking pretty good. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our water chestnuts, full can of water chestnuts. And now we're gonna add our fresh herb, fresh sage and thyme. I said rosemary earlier, so scratch that. <laughs> smell a vision I could smell this right now. <clears throat> oh man, smells like Thanksgiving. Won't be long. Okay, I'm gonna back cook this a little bit, add a little bit of kosher salt. It definitely smells like Thanksgiving. We'll let that cook for just a minute. Move this over here. A little closer, we're gonna, it should be just a couple minutes on the water chestnuts and the herbs. Oh. Okay, definitely want to use gloves for this because that's hot, obviously, and you need a place to go with it. As a matter of fact, before I do that, I'm going to set this up. Since we're going to bake this recipe 350 degrees, I want to turn the big green egg into an oven. is extremely easy to do, especially when it's already hot. We've got our two half moons. If you're not familiar with the egg expander system, you can use the convector as well, but in this case, I've got the two half moons, so we're gonna turn that into indirect heat, and that will probably actually get us, with all that heat, will get us close to the 350. We'll let that start preheating. Dump all this in. Got all of our breadcrumbs and sausage. Again, that is the lid to this, which we're going to use here in just a minute. And now I'm just going to start stirring this to blend all this together. Okay, we've got that pretty even. Gonna add a little bit of kosher salt. <clears throat> I keep 
keep not wanting to touch the <laughs> pan here, thinking it's hot, but this one hasn't been in the, the egg yet, so it's not. It's that one. Oh, uh -huh. It's free for me. Mm. That actually had a little bit of a buttery goodness on it. Okay, now we're gonna add, I think I accidentally said chicken stock earlier. Of course, we're gonna use turkey stock. It's Thanksgiving, right? So. Okay, so we're gonna start adding some of this and stirring. It's kind of a feel thing. bread is all kind of crunchy right now so as you add that you'll feel it soften up a little bit and then add a little more and probably about two and a half cups there just also I think depends on how much bread you have it's starting to feel pretty good you don't want it soupy, but you do want to make sure that the bread absorbs it, and you don't want to stir it too much. And you can always add a little bit more. Okay, so that's ready to go. I'm gonna put the lid, which is probably still hot. We cooked the first 45 minutes, covered at 350 degrees. As you can see there, well, we actually cooked all that butter and everything, snapped right on top, and that's actually the lid. So we're gonna go cover for the first 45 minutes, and then we go about another 30 minutes. It's gonna be hot on that. And we'll show the finished product here. So we're, got our egg set up indirect now as an oven. Put that right in place. And we'll come back and take the lid off here in about 45 minutes. Okay, so obviously we're losing daylight quite a bit sooner nowadays. Uh, stuffing has been on. We did 45 minutes with the top off. I'm sorry, top on. And then we took the uh, top off and did another 15 or 20 minutes. We'll take a look. Uh, if you don't have one of these, the grill light, the bigger egg is pretty cool. We've actually got this little, this mounts to the screw that goes on the outside of the egg. And that's magnetic. So you just store this wherever you need to store it. Put it in place, turn it on or off whenever you want to use it, but just so you can kind of see our finished product with the sage sausage stuffed stuffing. It's gonna be a hot bite, but I gotta do it. Mm. So good. You get the sausage in there, you get all that herb, the butter, and then the crunch from the uh, water chestnuts. Just delicious, goes so good with the turkey and timed it out to where the turkey's just about ready too. So once again, uh, you've got one week until Thanksgiving. So hopefully you're inspired and maybe give this a shot at home. Uh, the store's open, of course, every day, mon or Monday through Saturday, 10 to six. Come in, get you whatever you need to get so you can cook at home and we'll see you next time.